Hey, it's Dr. Fred, Lee Coaching. This is Freedom Chiropractic. This is a new podcast. Why did we start this? Actually, I started this with Brian Capra, but he's not on here right now. So I'm flying solo with an awesome, huge chiropractic leader out changing the world. But what's Freedom Chiropractic really about? Hey, it's about getting above all the stuff, man, above the insurance, above the ACA trying to shut down x-ray rights, you know, above the politics, above the pain-based care, above all the stuff to deliver the principle and the truth to humanity that God, the gift that God gave humanity and we're the messengers. So it's about getting above all that and, and living out our purpose with the principle to change humanity with the most powerful healthcare message that God's ever given us. So that's what this podcast is about. I'm just an honor to have you here with us, Neil. I mean, we've, we've known each other a bit, interacted a bit. You've spoken at our seminars. You guys are, you and Ed are doing amazing things at Sherman, not only turning that, rebuilding that school, literally, physically, Ooh. but uh, expanding into other countries, man. And so one more thing, you know, we just talked about this. I know she had a quote on Facebook. Chiropractic equals freedom for those who accept the offer. Straight from God through Neil Cohen, man. Why don't you tell us about that? Well, you know, we, we are all about freedom. We, uh, we are about freeing humanity. And what we do is we get people clear. And when you live clear, you're free. You're free to make the best decisions, free to be the best husband, the best wife, the best leader, the best chiropractor, the best father and mother. And, and so we're really all about freedom. And um, unfortunately, there's so much deception that's in the world that people only think they're free. People think they're free, but they're actually not free. The cultural authority has, has, has programmed the minds of, of individuals to move in a direction that puts them in bondage, whether it's bondage to medication or bondage to a way of thinking or even bondage to technology. We really are moving in that direction. And we have to realize that the most important thing, the most important thing is to live clear so we can be that vessel that God can use that can share truth with humanity. And chiropractic happens to be truth. That's what it's about. It's about setting people free, and we make an offer to the world. And some people take that offer, and some people don't take that offer. And our goal is to get people to accept the offer. However, that is not um, going to happen. Everyone has a different take on things. It's not the right time or the right place for certain people. So we have to learn how to move on. We have to learn how to give the offer, be responsible for being able to communicate and speak this message of freedom. And then if someone accepts it, great. If they don't, we've planted the seeds. If they never get to it, it's their loss. It's not ours. And we have to keep moving on. Well, that certainly is, is so bold, and there's so much truth in there, and you said so many things, you know, as you're saying, things you know, like, well, I, can, I, I want to talk about that, I want to talk about that, I want to talk about that. But first of all, when you say you help people get clear, because clarity can mean different things to different people. So when you say clear, what does that mean? What, what message are you trying to bring through that? Well, that, I'm really glad you asked that question, because I just assume people, chiropractors at least, understand what that means. Our goal when we make a chiropractic adjustment is to get people clear, to, to correct uh, the verbal subluxation. And by doing that, um, you get people clear. You allow them to, to be the greatest expression of who they are. That's really the fundamental reason to give people a chiropractic adjustment. We don't adjust unsubluxated people. And we, uh, excuse me, uh, yes, we don't adjust unsubluxated people. And we could assume that if someone is unsubluxated, they're clear. But if someone has a subluxation, they're not living clear. So that's our job. Our job is to get people clear. Oftentimes, the chiropractor is more concerned about the potential of what a chiropractic adjustment can do. And really, what a chiropractic adjustment could do is get someone clear. The potential that it yields or manifests the, the patient is going to have to tell us what that is. And sometimes that might take two or three months or it might take two or three years. But our goal is to get people to live clear because when you live clear, you make better decisions. You know, society would be much better off 
if people were living clear, unsubluxated, and free. That's what I mean by that. Yeah, which that is so awesome, man. And you say, again, you say so many things that clear is, is it, you know, the adjustment is, is a physical thing, but the effect is mental and emotional and spiritual. Because you said, you know, it's like what you said, if more people were unsubluxated, we'd be living in a different world. Well, why? Because it would affect people mentally. It would affect them emotionally. We also, you know, chiropractic is a universal law. Like when you say truth, it's, it is a truth because it's a universal law. Life force to a physical body, when it's blocked, that physical body will break down. Life force and full expression of the physical body, the physical, physical tissue is healthy, you know. So, so that, that clarity is mental, emotional, spiritual clarity begins with a physical move and ends with a spiritual outcome. I'm, let me unplug my phone. Yes, and uh, what you say is absolutely true. And uh, we need to understand that every time we make an adjustment, we have an incredible responsibility. And that responsibility is to make the best adjustment that we can make. And that's why it's important that we create masters in chiropractic. And at Sherman College, we're, we're very interested not just in the philosophy of chiropractic, but also the art and the science as well, the what, the why, and the how. And unless we're creating masters, then, you know, we're just throwing, you know, we're, we're, we're manipulating. And we've got to know that we know that we can find the subluxation, we could correct the subluxation, and then we could we can allow that person to to manifest the greatest clarity within their life. Yeah, that's awesome. And so let's say clarity to another level. So you're talking about, in a sense, initially, the outcome of an adjustment getting a person clear. And then clarity is also with vision, right? So not only we see that outcome, but when you look at the vision of what you're doing, you take getting people clear as one of the mantras or purposes and creating masters so they can make more people clear in Sherman and then how you're expanding out into other colleges and, and the things that you're doing. Like, so you want to take clarity to an exponential level with everything that you're involved with that you and Dr. Ed are doing. Yeah. And, and actually you, you, you're giving me a couple of thoughts here as you speak, Dr. Fred, I think we need to bring clarity to the profession. I think the profession is uh, has some subluxations that need to be corrected, and uh, we need to collaborate without compromising. We need to understand who we are, what we believe, and why we believe it, and be able to promote that. Uh, it, typically, we have uh, different things being promoted in chiropractic, and some of them, quite frankly, are not chiropractic. And so uh, a public who is unaware, who's programmed to believe uh, everything but chiropractic is now being exposed to something that might look like chiropractic, but it's not. So we have to uh, get on the same page. We have to have a strategic plan and initiative within this profession to protect it, preserve it, and promote it, as well as perpetuate it. And I think uh, what we have today is we have uh, a disintegration of the profession. We have a lot of attacking going on. Um, I'm very concerned about not only society, but where uh, institutions are these days. We have 20 institutions within the United States, and um, 17 of them are, are mechanistic, meaning that they, they are limited in the scope of what they teach chiropractic to be. I mean, I believe that our product is life. That's right. what is being expressed when we are getting somebody clear and correcting a subluxation. Our product is not folks feeling better. Um, although that is a byproduct of, of more life oftentimes, but it's not what we should go after. We need to express to people that they have this life that is being cordoned off. It's being interfered with, and we are the ones that can release the interference to that individual's nervous system and allow them to be the greatest expression of themselves. And, and the other thing that we've really lost, and this is something that's so basic and it concerns me, is that we have to teach people that the body can heal itself. That's really, people are coming in, they don't even know that their right. body can heal itself. And so that becomes a mantra that the entire profession needs to speak. 
Well, and once again, man, the truth is the truth and it always emanates from your mouth. That's why, you know, you're, you're a principal based chiropractor, had a huge practice and then we're invited to do what you're doing now. But, and, and, you know, you say things that are so innately because it's the way you think, which comes from your principle and purpose from every cell of your body. You know, you said chiropractic is life. And then there's 17 mechanistic schools out of 20. And I learned this from going to business mastery. And this is what we teach in our boot camps. You know, I mean, our goal in elite, of course, we're corrective care. You know, we're hardcore correction because I think, I think chiropractic is about correcting subluxations, right? And you're a corrective care based school. So, so you, so we have very high standards on that. However, you said something so powerful because the problem, another problem and the impression we're making in the general public is what percentage of all the patients that go through chiropractic clinics across America or in the world become lifetime patients. Ooh. And that's way too low. And our whole thing is we, we know how to get them to eight out of 10. We grade eight out of 10 of your patients in lifetime care and how to develop a lifetime culture. But you said the key, and I say this all the time, chiropractic is life. You have 17 schools that are teaching doctors how to sell a product or service. They're not buying chiropractic. Chiropractic is a vehicle that they get life. You're selling life. You're not selling a product or service. When they buy a product or service, they use it like a tool. Right. Well, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, no, you go. Go finish. No, when you're using the tool, what do you, you know, if you're going to screw a screw, what do you do when you're done screwing the screw? What do you do with a screwdriver? You put it down. And that's the problem. We're selling life. I mean, that just flowed out of your mouth because it's in your body, man. It's in every cell of your body. Well, we, and, and here's the thing, too. And, and we're also selling a, a way to think. We're teaching people right. a way to think. We're teaching a belief system. And, and this is very, very important. And they're already under another belief system. And if you've ever tried to change somebody's belief system, it's very difficult because it's a cultural thing. And cultural things take years to change normally unless there's some incredible catastrophe that occurs which gets people moving in a different direction. And so what we have to understand is that we are selling a belief, a belief that the body heals itself, a belief that that the nervous system is in control of the entire body. The brain is so important. Chiropractors work with the brain and the nervous system. The nervous system and the brain could get interference to it, and we're the only ones on the planet that can remove that interference. I mean, those are the simple facts about what we do, and I just can't understand why we don't have more chiropractors not only buying into that, but telling the world that, because who wouldn't want to be the best version of themselves. Well, that's exactly correct. And you know, I mean, this couldn't be, we couldn't even script this better than what we're doing right now because, because when you say chiropractic is a belief, that's the fucking part of my language. Hey, it's my podcast so I can say what I want. That's the fucking message that we've been touting the whole time. If you don't know how to change belief systems because they come in, right? We have pharmaceutical companies, MDs, the problem isn't isn't pain. The problem isn't drugs. The problem isn't isn't that people can take drugs or what MDs are doing. The problem is they've created a belief system that there's an easy way out. Right, and and it and that creates irresponsibility. Exactly. So people want to be. They really. It's easier to be irresponsible than it is to be responsible. And 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 you know, it's just. And I'm looking at your shirt. I'm looking at uh, I'm looking at Ross Reaver there. Yeah, this and is Cal Jam. And yeah, how perfect is this for Freedom Chiropractic? Perfect. That's absolutely perfect. And um, you know, this guy went to jail. Um, he is the most jailed chiropractor. I think it was twelve or thirteen times. And people don't know about Charles Lemley, who was arrested sixty six times. And they don't know about Roger Richardson. Who, who was an amazing chiropractor that they humiliated by, by arresting him and putting him in prison for practicing medicine without a license. And, and he ended up uh, in the prison handing out the pharmaceuticals to the prisoners. This is how they were humiliating chiropractors. And I got to tell you, I look at Reaver, I know Lemley, I know Richardson, and and and. and all the others, the 681 chiropractors that went to jail, 73 were women. 
And that's what keeps me going every single day because those people do not have a voice any longer. And we need to be the voice for them. We need to be the voice in the face of the people that are trying to rip our profession out from under us. And that's what concerns me. And that's why I'm so proud to be at Sherman College working alongside Dr. Edwin Cordero and the incredible team that we have because our goal, our goal is to guard the sacred trust, bring chiropractic to the world, and adjust the world for a better future. And as long as we're running the show, that's what's going to happen. And uh, we're just going to keep moving forward. We don't know what the end will be, Dr. Fred. We really don't. You know, that's, that's up to God. But I know that I'm going to take that responsibility very seriously, and I'm going to take those guys that, and gals that went to jail very seriously, and I'm going to use them as my anchor to keep going. Well, man, the purpose, that, you know, that's old school. That's old school purpose and passion, man, that, that just keep the flame just keep burns hotter as we go, which I love, amongst other things, love about you. And you're one of the most loving people I know, which is why you have that purpose. And it's such a great point. You know, people take for granted that someone else paved the road that we're driving on. Ooh. And, and we need to pay the dues. You know, we need to pay the dues of not only the, the being a servant, but also having a voice, you know, making a difference, funding schools like Sherman that are principally based schools. I think the three you may be talking about are Life University and Life West. I would assume. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah so and sure. We support those schools and then, you know, let the other ones do whatever they need to do. And then the next thing is, you know, when we take responsibility and, and, and playing on the, you know, what you said before is learning how to change belief systems. And that's, uh, you know, now that you brought that up, I'm going to give a shameless plug. You know, I've spent 20 years studying human behavior and that's what our boot camps are about, man. It's about learning how to change belief systems, getting eight out of 10 in lifetime care. And that's what it, what it is, man. If you don't, if you haven't taken the time to learn how to change a belief system, facts don't change belief systems. They're very deeply emotionally rooted. They're very conditioned. And this is what I love about you is you get that. And we need to teach doctors how to communicate on a higher level to change a mindset that's been instilled for decades and generations. And you, it doesn't take years to do this. You know, I always say, hey, man, we've gotten 14% going to chiropractors in America. 70% of those think it's about neck and back pain. So in 124 years, we have 4.2% that believe it's healthcare system. Well, I think if we learn how to change beliefs and we can all work together on this, maybe we can do that. We can do more in the next 20, 10 or 20 years than we've done in 124 years. Yeah, I, I agree with you. And I think we have to start with, um, and, and not, of course, uh, with you and with me, uh, because we're solid on what we believe and why we believe it. And I really appreciate um, you uh, taking this leadership role in the chiropractic profession, because we need more leaders like yourself doing that. And what we have to do is oftentimes we have to change the belief of the chiropractor first. Uh, unfortunately, when they're going to these mechanistic colleges, they're coming out with um, uh, weaker adjusting skills, uh, uh, barely any, I don't even know what kind of philosophy they get. I do know that I run into these students and they are just enamored at the things that we're teaching at Sherman College. And so now we, ha we add this extra level or this extra layer where now we've got to retrain chiropractors that are already graduating um, or graduates, and, and they don't themselves understand chiropractic beyond neck pain, back pain, and headaches. That's just not okay. And so, um, you know, it, it, it's, it's, this, it's, it's, it's folks like yourself, it's folks like uh, uh, Dr. Cordero that uh, need to go out there and share this incredible message. And as you said, get behind uh, a school that you can trust. Get behind, uh, and you can get behind... The three schools, I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, we need students. Uh, we need your, your, your finances. We need you to donate so we can um, uh, continue to go out into the world and share the message. And we need your talent. We need you to come visit the campus. We need you to share, Dr. Fred, again, as you did uh, several years ago, 
um, with our students. We, we want to invite you back to our brand new campus. It's completely transformed, and you're going to you're gonna go crazy when you see this, Dr. Fred. It's nice. unbelievable. We want to have you back on campus, and we want to bring your group on campus. And, and we have an event center now. We could uh, serve over 600 people, so we wow. can definitely hand, handle um, um, those events that you do. So uh, make sure that you're aware of that, and others that are listening, we have that availability to you as well. Nice. So kind of wrapping this whole thing up, I mean, I think what you just expressed is truly freedom in chiropractic, right? Because the, you know, like you said, there's 17 schools, there's so many students. I mean, I hear it from doctors trying to hire kids out of school. They don't have it in their hands. Right. You know, schools don't want kids adjusting. You know, I remember I spoke at LACC and if you have three things, you can be successful anywhere, right? When you have the purpose in your heart, you have the message in your mouth, and you have the skill in your hands. You don't need anything else. You can go anywhere in the world and build a huge, whatever size practice you want, right? You got to have communication in your mouth, the purpose in your heart, and the skill in your hands. So any students that may be listening to this, man, just get those, or doctors, get that, get those three things. And, and, and if I may add something to that, and, uh, you know, uh, Roberto Monaco has been an incredible um uh, coach and mentor to so many people and he speaks about purpose and purpose is something that you have inside of you and there's many mechanistic students and mechanistic chiropractors that have purpose but they don't have the skills and they don't have the message to communicate and I want you to know that um, you can improve your skills and you can improve your message. Um, purpose is something that's going to be planted very deep inside of you. And some people are, are their purpose is to, you know, be a chiropractor that doesn't adjust. That's their purpose. And they're really good at treating those type of things. But I'm looking to get into and engage and cultivate relationships with people that have purpose, but yet want to improve their skills and want to improve their communication message because it's really, really very simple to do. You've got to work on it. You've got to become intimate with, with what that message is, but it's super simple and your life will, will be on fire. You will be on fire and people will come to watch and see you burn. That's how great this profession is. And I want to get people excited and encouraged about chiropractic. Well, Man, you, you're just, uh, you know, you are a torch that, that lights the darkness. So, so I appreciate that. How would people get a hold of Sherman? I mean, it's pretty easy. You can just Google Sherman College. But what's the best way to get a hold of you? Possibly donate. Maybe not you, but, but get in contact with Sherman and be able to support you guys and the purpose and mission that you're on. Well, Sherman is real easy. Just go to www.sherman.com. Uh, edu and you get to our website my email is ncohen uh, at sherman.edu and um, if you want to donate um, it's real easy just go to the website you just uh, sherman.edu slash donate that's fine um, if you'd like to visit the college we'd love to have you come out we'd love to give you a tour of the new facility we'd like you to come to our Lyceum program we have uh, that the first weekend of May every year uh, we have a ROAR program. It's an acronym for Reach Out and Recruit. If you have a prospective student, and, 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 and I'm going to share a little bit if I can, if we have time, Dr. Fred. Sure. If you have a prospective student and you want to send them to look at Sherman College, we would appreciate that. We have four weekends a year uh, that we do our Showcase Sherman weekend, and if they qualify, we'll pay for them to come out. We'll put them up for three nights in a hotel. We'll feed them till they can't eat anymore. We'll, we'll put them in a philosophy class, a palpation class. We'll show them beautiful downtown Greenville and Spartanburg. We're at the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains. It's absolutely gorgeous where we are with our new facility. Um, they can come and, and visit the college anytime they want, but we have this uh, wonderful Showcase Sherman weekend. And by the way, Dr. Fred, the next student that you send to Sherman College, here's what we're going to do, not only for you, but for everybody out there. We're going to, we're going to give them a $500 scholarship in the name of your choice. So if you want to uh, make a scholarship in, in your mom's name, how about Lisa's name, your beautiful sister? 
You could put put Lisa's name on the sound and 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 and, and, and uh, for every student that you said, we'll do a five hundred dollar scholarship. And if you want to know about the war program, just check our website. Um, and I'm really easy to get a hold of. And uh, if anybody wants to have a conversation with me, they can just send me an email, and uh, we can exchange phone numbers. And I'm happy to share with you my passion and my love for this beautiful chiropractic profession. Nice. Well, it doesn't get much better than that. So uh, truly, you know, from the, from the Freedom Podcast, everything that you're doing truly represents freedom that's above all the bullshit, that's above all the stuff, and really cares about the most important thing, and that is not only delivering an amazing adjustment, but having the message that can truly change humanity in a far shorter time that we've, than we've done it already. So, hey, thanks for everything that you do. Thanks for being a great leader and always a great friend, man. I love you. You're, you're always- I love you. I love you, brother. Thank you for having me on. It's been an honor and uh, keep rocking, brother. I'll see you real soon. Thank you. Peace.